This is Black Creek Rapids. We're on day two of our Salmon River six day uh, rafting trip. And we're looking at one of the first big rapids we hit here. This is a class three, I think at high water it's class four. And we're gonna watch our group here head down the river. Uh, and while we're waiting for them to get to the top, we can talk about how this rapid formed. There's a side channel, a creek that comes in here on the right. And in 2011, it had a debris flow, basically a flash flood that sent all these rocks into the channel and actually created this rapid. So we'll kind of watch the entry here of our group. You can kind of see the nice V wave here on the left, some rocks to avoid on the right. And then we'll probably run a video when our little green boat here runs it here in a second. So pretty clean line if you're in the right spot, but like a lot of rapids, if you're in the wrong spot, um, you can see the huge, there's a huge hole river right that would probably flip a boat. So there goes our group. We got our little yellow boat coming here in a second. So blue boat looking pretty good. Kind of bumpy through there. And then here's our little yellow boat. Get some momentum, Gage. Go fast through it. Straight down. Push a little right. Let's see how they do here. The little yellow boat with the four teenage boys. Looking good. Hit that wave straight on. Nice. A little bouncy. And looks like they made it. Sweet. So yeah, just this is one rat way that rapids form uh, is you get debris from a tributary that pushes boulders into the river that usually constricts the flow of the water. The boulders themselves create obstacles that the water has to go over and essentially that's what creates the waves. We can see we're in a, a tight little spot here with buttresses of this Eocene granite on either side. So Black Creek Rapid on the Salmon River and it's time for our crew and our boat here with my lovely wife Erica to go give it a go. Yep, that's water on the lens there. <laughs> <laughs> 